This video demonstrates the trace loop command. I am in a 3D DGN and I have my terrain model right here and it is set to view the contours. The command I'm demonstrating is in the Open Roads Modeling Workflow, Terrain tab, Analysis, Hydraulic, Analyze, Trace Slope. So there's two different options for the different trace methods. The first one I'm going to demonstrate is the maximum slope trace. So this tool is going to draw a path, the steepest path, if a rain droplet was dropped on the terrain of how it'll get down to the bottom. Okay, so the trace slope down direction is going to find the steepest descent. So this is going to be my start point. What is the steepest descent to this end point right here? So you can see in the little box I have the elevation 1 and the elevation 2. So the elevation 1 is the 558 that my cursor is at and then the elevation 2 is the 538. So I'm finding the top elevation and it is determining the steepest path down from where my cursor is. So the steepest path down. So right here the steepest path would be is 557. The steepest path down is going to be right here to where this red, the low point is represented by the red cross. So if I do the up option, it is finding the steepest path up. So you can see on my cursor where my cursor is, is elevation one, which is the 539, which is going to be the low point, and it's finding the steepest path up to that second point, which is the 559. So if I did a point here, you can see this is the steepest path all the way up to this point right here. Okay, so the second trace method is this constant slope trace. And this will find a constant slope path so you have to define the slope along a specified length. So a 5% slope along 100 feet, and you also have the up and down option. So I'm going to select the terrain model. I'll set my slope to 5%. And then I select the start point. So let's have it start here. And you can see that it gives me two different options for the solution. So this solution starts at 554 and it goes up to 549. There's about a five foot difference over 100 feet, which makes sense, 5% 100 feet length. And then this option too. And so you can choose which solution you want for the rain droplet to go at a 5% slope for 100 feet. I'll data point to accept that one. You can do the same option for up. I will select my start point and you can see I have the two options here as well and I'll choose which one I want, which will be this one.